In beautiful Chiang Mai, Thailand, we wanted to learn mastery of our minds. Both of us have stressful jobs as doctors, so enjoy our perspective on Pa Pei Meditation Retreat and whether it solved all of our problems. Hello, beautiful people. We're now home after completing the beautiful Pa Pei Meditation Retreat. And spoiler, it is worth it. So in this video, we'll cover the location, the cost, and the timetable. And at the end, we'll talk about what we took away from the retreat. So, Pape. The meditation retreat is located halfway between Chiang Mai and Pai, about an hour from each. The setting is magical. Think misty mountains, hazy sunsets, and vast open natural space. Dotted with little wooden houses and seats to gaze at the scenery while you meditate. Pape itself is technically a monastery because it houses and ordains Buddhist monks and they're the ones who lead and teach all of the meditation sessions. We went to their three-day structured retreat which happens every one to two weeks but they also offer a flexible option if you can't make those dates. So cost-wise, Pape asks for a donation but recommends about 500 baht per night and this covers accommodation, food and all of their teachings. That's like 25 New Zealand dollars, which is crazy cheap. So day zero, we arrived 5 p.m., checked in, changed into white clothes. And we're just getting a tour around the place. A monk introduced some theory to us on meditation before we practiced it ourselves for 30 minutes. After that, we started our silent day, 24 hours of no tool. Now, it's important to remember where your house is, because after you leave the meditation, you just have to find your accommodation in the dark, and you can't ask anyone questions. Day one started at 6 a.m. in the morning with chanting and meditation. <laughs> Day two, we learnt walking meditation, which was surprisingly really hard. Breakfast was at 7.30 a.m. every day, and the food here was amazing. It was home cooking, but the flavours were some of the best that I experienced in Thailand. Something interesting we learnt was that monks can only eat food that they are given. So they go out in the morning every day, they call it the alms, and beg, basically, the community for food to eat, a way to make sure they live a minimal life. After breakfast, there was a um, meditation teaching and practice. Buddhism was slightly touched on, but it definitely was focused on meditation itself, which I feel like is more palatable to the Western population. 11.30 a.m. is always lunch, and this is always the favorite meal of the day, and your last meal, actually. But if you really need to, there are stores in the village and on site that you can buy extra food from. After lunch is another meditation of some sort. We did a river meditation on the first day and then a monk Q&A on the second day. The evening was free time because there's no dinner and Pape have this beautiful sunset hut where you can watch the sun drift behind the mountains. It was one of our favorite things to do. In the evening is another session of meditation, normally around a bonfire or some candles. The final night they let us release lanterns into the sky uh, which is such a tangled moment. And then 9am, everyone was pretty much in bed, ready for the next day. So, our reflections, would you recommend? Yeah, definitely. I think one of the best things about it was that it was just so flexible. Mm. You, We didn't have that long to travel around Thailand, so the ability to do three days was really perfect for us. And the attitude of the retreat? was amazing. They weren't strict about any of their rules. So if you're hungry, you could go buy some food to eat. If you wanted to take some time out for yourself, you could miss one of the meditation sessions. Yeah, I really liked that it really gave us an introduction to the way of Buddhism and the lifestyle of monks. And although it wasn't a spiritual journey, it really showed us the life that they lead and how minimalistic they can be and it really challenged a lot of my values and made me really contemplate my life values after it. Oh, the only thing to mention is because it's in the mountains, it can get really cold and you might end up sleeping on the floor. I got a bed. I got a floor. <laughs> yeah, so you got to bring some like... Warm clothes, maybe even a blanket or some pillows if you're a little bit uh, sensitive and around your neck. <laughs> so overall, location? 10 out of 10. Value for money and time? 15 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, so good. Food? 
Oh, like nine out of ten. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorite things to eat in Thailand. Meditation practice? Seven out of ten. Really? I'd say meditation is ten out of ten. But the Buddhism teachings were probably seven out of ten for me. Yeah. Fair enough. But overall, I thought it was a fantastic thing. Definitely worth your time. It's also on the way to Pop, uh, Pai. So mm. it's a great uh, stop on the way there from Chiang Mai. Like, subscribe, comment. I probably should say that, actually. So comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, like, subscribe if you like these videos. And give us suggestions for what else you want to see. And we'll do them. We're in New Zealand right now, so we'll try and do as many meditation retreats there as we can. <laughs> Sick. Thanks for listening.